animation. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's tutorial. I feel like text helps tie in whatever theme you have going on in your video and to its visual appeal. With the right text animation or placement, it can really help make your videos look more engaging and attractive. So today we're gonna to be working alongside Storyblocks who are also sponsoring this video to show you guys several different ways to animate your text and make it stand out in your videos. So I'll be showing you guys five different text animations that you can try out and hopefully it makes your video pop out a little bit more. So let's start with the first one. Let's call this one the prism text effect. So I really had to look around for inspiration for the first one. So the first thing I did was hop on the story blocks to look for some ideas. So I landed on this really cool, colorful, animated, abstract, cosmic cloud that moved around throughout the screen. I thought maybe I can do some fun text animation where I take the background and insert it into the actual text itself. There were also a few others that I liked and was able to test out, but I really like this one. And that's a cool thing with Storyblocks. If you have an unlimited all access plan, then you can try out as many backgrounds and overlays as you want. Just keep downloading and downloading until you find the one that fits your project. And all of them are royalty free, so anything that you download is yours to keep forever even if you have to use it for a commercial project. So make sure to check them out. I've been using them for almost every project that I've been working on. So I'm pretty confident that you'll find something for your own project as well. The link will be in the description down below. So now that I have my background, I'm going to place that on my project timeline. Then under titles, look for basic title and drag that on top of it. Type in your text and then look for a font style that you want to go with. For this text animation, I suggest looking for something that is a bit thicker so that you'll be able to see the effect in the actual text. I'll be going with this one here in this example. Change the font size afterwards as well. Now with the font title bar highlighted, change the blend mode in the inspector tab to stencil luma. This will insert the background in the text itself and remove everything else. Highlight both clips, right click, and create a new compound clip. Place whatever background you want to use below it. With this one, I'll be using stock footage that I got from Storyblocks. Now under your effects tab, look for prism. And then drag that on top of your text bar. I'm going to change the amount to about 3 to start off. With the skimming bar at the beginning of the clip, place a keyframe under amount and angle in the prism tab. And then move all the way to the end of the clip and adjust the numbers. I'll be bringing amount to about 27 and angle to 360 degrees. And now your final clip should look something like this. For the second text animation, we'll call it the wavy text effect. Place your basic text bar on the project timeline. Type in your text. Change font style and size. Under effects, look for wave and then drag that on top of your title bar. Under the beginning of the clip, adjust the amount anywhere from 70 to 100 and then place a keyframe. Then move to the end of the clip and adjust the number back to zero. Add your clip or background underneath it when you're done. So there you go, simple, smooth, and wavy. I don't know. The third text animation, we'll call it the graduated text effect. So the text for this one fades out at a certain point and kind of blends in with the background behind it. So with this example, I'll be using a looping ocean video as my background. I feel like it blends in well together, especially with the text effect that I'm about to show you. With the background on the timeline, I'll be placing a basic title on top of it as well. Search for the graduated mass effect in the effects tab and place that on top of the title bar. Readjust both circles that appear to play around with the placement of the mask and the gradient. And to add to this animation, add the underwater effect from the effects tab to the title as well. You don't want it to move around too much so lower the refraction and speed until you're happy with how it moves. And 
And the next one we'll just call the easy text tracking effect with no plugins. Place your movie clip on the timeline. I'll be using the shot here as an example. Movements that go left to right or vice versa work and look better with this as you don't have to worry about changing the scale size. Place your basic title on top. Change the text and then size and font style. Now find a spot on the clip where you want your text to always be attached to. I'm going to use the tip of this leafy green here and have it touch the top of the T. With the skimming bar at the beginning of the clip and the title bar selected, place the keyframe by clicking on the transform tab and the keyframe button up here. Now you can either do it frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key and readjusting the text so that it's always aligned with the point that you selected, or you can just skip every 10 frames or so and realign it then. Doing it frame by frame will definitely come out a lot better and smoother, but it does take more time. And the last one we'll call the custom 3D text effect. This one is more just to show you what Final Cut has built in and has given us to work with in terms of the custom 3D text. Drag the custom 3D text on top of your clip. If you look under the inspector tab, you'll see a lot of options you can play around with. Under rotate in, you'll see that you'll have options for it to do a 360 flip, spin, roll, tumble, and a bunch of other stuff. Play with the fade in duration as well to make it fade in. You can also adjust the way it moves in, the direction it is coming from, or to animate it by line, word, or characters. It's a really cool feature that Final Cut Pro 10 has built in for us, so definitely make the time to play around with it and try out different combinations and see what you can make on your end. Thanks for watching guys. I'll leave a link to Storybox in my bio, so make sure to go check it out. And also let me know, do you guys want to see more of this type of stuff on the channel? It's my time in my prime, this the prime time, pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense, just a go get a